Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, a very warm welcome this morning to the concluding event in our uh, Evolving London Lecture Series. Uh, I'm Jerry Hughes. I'm a Senior Director at GVA. I've got the very simple job of introducing this event this morning. Over the past uh, 12 months, our guest lecturers have given us their perspective on some of the biggest issues facing London now and into the future. As the city's population continues to grow and its ex economy come, becomes even stronger. This lecture series has without doubt been one of the most successful that we at GVA have, have held and the direct feedback from many of you, including many of you in the room today, ha has been tremendous. And that's very simply down to the quality of our speakers and the quality of and the content of their lectures. When we embarked upon the Evolving London programme, the ambition was to create an opportunity for those of us at the coal face of the property and development industry, both in the public and the private sector, to take time out to contemplate uh, the bigger picture, the economic backdrop to what we do, the specific nature of our housing crisis beyond the, the headline numbers, the socio-economic issues that so seldom get talked about in my view, and the perennial issue of ensuring the required level of infrastructure investment to help sustain London's economic strength. And that opportunity has been universally welcomed by all of those who have attended, and we hope to continue that debate uh, in the coming months. But by way of conclusion today, this event brings our speakers, speakers together alongside contributions from Professor Tony Travers, the Director of the London School of Economics, and Dr Julie Grail, Chief Executive of BIDS, to debate in the round many of the issues raised by the individual lectures. Our prospectus for today's event posed a number of questions to guide the discussion. And in summary, is London's status as one of the world's leading cities under threat by a lack of investment, public investment, and by growing inequality. Many of the ingredients of a successful global city are in place and are very apparent to us. Inward investment continues to increase, new business clusters emerge, new talent comes to London from all over the world, tourist numbers continue to grow, and the city's world image grows ever stronger. But in the meantime, not enough houses are being built, more and more people cannot afford to live in the capital. Our roads are more and more, are more, and more congested. And we, yet, we have yet to resolve the airport capacity issue and inequality continues to grow across the capital. These are the issues that we need to find a solution to. And quite simply, how do we come up with the answers? 